Go. So here we have the kidney. Uh, the adrenal gland, which is not depicted here, would be on top, forming like a beanie on top. Can you be more specific instead of just waving your wand everywhere? Oh, you did that on purpose. All right. So the adrenal gland would be like a beanie that would be right on top of the kidney. And then the renal capuscle is the whole outside part. The renal cortex is this filling area that can be found all around right here. And then the medulla is the cavity that forms this sort of uh, triangle shape. The what is? Medulla. Uh-huh. And then the renal column are the adjacent filling uh, structures that found between the medulla. And then the pyramid is the actual structure of the pyramid. And then uh, major calyx is this one, right? I'm sorry, what? Major calyx. Is the, the yes, big that's area, the, that's and then the minors are the ones no, that are. No, this is actual. This one, oh, this, this these are the, minor right here, right? Yeah. And then when they form into that's that, the renal. That's um, the renal pelvis. Yeah. All right, so renal pelvis is this big one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The small ones coming from the pyramids are the minor calyxes, and when they form up into one, that's when it's the major calyx, and then. From there, you have the helius, which is the entrance for all of the blood vessels and the tubules that you find right there. Uh, the urethra, or ureter, can be found here, going down. And then can you point it yet? The ureter is uh, the tubule that goes from the kidney down to uh, the gallbladder, or the ureter bladder. The trigon for days. Formed right there, the triangular formation that you see with the white. Hey, no, hit me up if I can make it. And, uh, I'm sure. The blood vessels for the kidney. <laughs> you have uh, the renal artery that starts over here, and then as it moves up and splits off, that's when it becomes the segmental artery. And then when it goes into the actual pyramids themselves, that's when it's called the interlobular artery. And then when you have the vessel going this way, across the top of the pyramid. That's when it's called the arcuate artery. And then the cortical radiate artery is when it starts doing a flower formation right here. And then if we go into more of a microscopic sort of level, here we have the afferent artery, arterially, as it enters into the glomerus, or actually renal corpuscle. But I'm jumping ahead of myself. Uh, the furent <coughs> arterial, arterial, sound right here, exiting, and then the peritubular capillaries uh, would be found right here, right? Do you guys remember? Yeah, yeah. capillaries, the whole the, the net things, right? Yeah, the net things. And then the cortical radiate artery or vein is now going the backwards flow of, the, of what we went over. So here you see it blooming, or it would be blue version instead of the red. And then from there you go down to arcuate vein, found going across. And then you don't have that whole part right there, but it merges back to the interlobular vein, right? And then from there, the back. renal vein. And nephron. Nephron would be consisting this whole entity right here or region there you go I like that so you have the renal corpuscle which is the whole thing right there as well uh, the glomerus is the inside right here and then the glomerular capsule is the whole outer lining that you find right there so if Tony were to say name this structure inside it would be the glomerus then if he was just pointing on the lining, it'd be glomerular capsule. If he had the whole thing, name that uh, structure, it'd be the renal corpuscle. And then the renal tubes. Oh, right. So this one would be the proximal convoluted tubule, right? Yeah. So from there we have the renal corpuscle and then the tubules that are going outside of it. The most closest one to it is the proximal convoluted 
tubule, and then when it starts going curvy right there, that's where it's considered the nephron loop. And then as you get closer to the collection uh, duct, uh, the last tubule that you'll encounter is the distal convoluted tubule. That's it. Is that it? Yeah. All right.